good morning from Manila. Today guys, I am escaping the city and escaping the heat as well. Oh, it is so hot. It is so hot here. Guys, I'm going to Baguio. Baguio is the coldest, the coldest city in the Philippines. And that's where I'm going. I'm taking one of these Victory Liner buses, traveling on the first class one. There's a first class one like three times a day. So that's what I'm here waiting for. And I get to wait inside here, the first class bus waiting lounge. I think it's like a wee air conditioned bit that you can sit and wait for the bus to arrive. an hour before departure and we've been called to the bus this is it right here the first class bus to Baguio now I booked my ticket online on their website it was 1050 this way okay thank you I'm gonna make sure that this goes uh, that this goes inside okay good looks nice and safe Guys, yeah, this bus it was 1,050 Filipino pesos, about 20 US dollars for a six hour journey. And I booked the ticket online, so I think these people might have booked it at the actual ticket station. They seem to be showing an actual ticket. I don't have anything apart from the, the email, maybe a PDF or something. Oh, yeah, I found that I've got like a PDF ticket. I, there's my ticket here. After you have to redeem it, sir, the, the information. Is it what? Redeem your ticket, they will give you a ticket. Redeem like the ticket. Ah, okay, they never told me. Okay, thank you. Ah, okay, so I need to redeem the ticket. When I came in, they just told me go and wait in the lounge. So I need to actually redeem it for a paper ticket. Hi, I need to redeem. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi. Okay, so I just found that out in the last minute. Well, not really the last minute, it's still like half an hour before. This is to depart, but this is us boarding right now. And I was able to pre-book my seat as well. Of course, you can see it's like two and one. So I was able to book one of the one seats. So I'm not sitting next to anybody. This is going to be good, but you're traveling for six hours. You don't want to be sitting next to a stranger, do you? Okay, thank you. Cheers. Okay. Yes, me, my YouTube channel as well. Maybe I got a subscriber already. We're like, what, like two minutes into the vlog. Already got a new subscriber. It's good. I got it. Hi, sir. Hi. Seat number 19. 19. Are you coming with us? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, good. I'm your last okay. seat. Okay, so seat number 19 is mine. One of these ones on the left. So as you can see, it's uh, reclining seats. They look nice and white, don't they? Oh, yeah, it's electronic. I think it's just like the business class seats on a plane where you can push the buttons and uh, it makes you go back and such like and I assume there's going to be a toilet on here as well six hours is a, is a long time overhead storage compartment is a bit small I don't know if I'm going to get my uh, big backpack in there uh, thank you okay oh, this is 19 here so Oh, I don't have anybody in front of me, but I do have just the, the toilet. toilet. Yeah, yeah, just the toilet, so I can watch everybody go to the toilet. That's right. I can if see it, who, that's, who, that's who, your finish. Yeah, who's drinking? The, I can see who's been drinking the most liquid during the journey. There you go, man. For sure. You must or, be from Australia. No, I'm from Scotland. Scotland. Hey, you're from the states. Fantastic, man. Hey, nice to meet you, bro. Very good, brother. Yeah, you're going to buy. Oh, of course, you're going to buy. Oh, this is where this is going. But uh, I'm looking forward to some cold weather. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I've had enough of Manila's uh, sweaty, hot yes, and sweaty sir. weather. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is the overhead the compartment. I think it's going to be too tight for my bag. I'll give it a go though. Yeah, it's like one. No, it's not even close. So I'm just going to sit with. Uh, I can actually, I actually have enough room to just put it down at between my legs, and that's quite comfortable. And. Yeah, there's some curtains here, which is nice because um, yeah, traveling six hours, you don't want to be like getting sunburnt on one side. 
like one half of you will be red or brown if you're that way inclined if you turn brown for me it would be red and the other half would be white after a six hour journey so uh, yeah it's good So these seats are different to the ones at the front of the bus. They had like an electronic recliner thing. This just looks like it's buttons. Let's give it a go. Nobody behind me. Oh! <laughs> it goes, uh, yeah, maybe like a 45 degree angle or something. It's nice. Very comfortable. I wonder if, if there were somebody behind me though, I would be squashing them, I think. It would be a bit rude. I think, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this is full or not. We're fully boarded now. People are changing seats and such like, uh, like that. So these seats here, are 13 and 14, they have less width than the rest of the seats. If you look, guys, they've kind of like pushed in a bit. So if you're booking seats on this bus, those are the ones to avoid, 13 and 14, because I think it's because the toilet's there, so it's taking up space. So they've made that a bit like uh, they pushed the seats closer together. So. There's a nice wee tip for you guys if you're booking your seats on this bus. And it looks like we're getting a snack right here. We've got the lovely stewardess, just like on an airplane. We've got our own stewardess who's handing out some... I think it's hot. It smells nice anyway, maybe some like a uh, chicken wraps or something like that. Thank you. Oh, they're very hot. Oh, very hot. Oh, it's tuna. Ah, oh, I don't like. Are they all tuna? Excuse me. Are they all tuna or different? You have different. The all tuna. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, I don't like. The one thing I don't like, guys. The one thing I don't like tuna. That's what they're selling. Is is tuna sisig? Usually, uh, sisig is pork. But yeah, it could have been a spicy beef pie, a chicken pie, a chicken adobo pie or a pork with chorizo pie, they all sound much more appealing than the, the tuna sisig. Here we go. Bye bye Manila. We're about half an hour into the journey and barely moved. We're, I think we're just in Makati, looking at Google Maps and the GPS, it looks like we're just somewhere near Makati. So in half an hour we've got from Pasi to Makati, which is hardly any distance at all. It looks though like we might be joining a highway right here. And on the bus here they're playing a movie, they're playing Top Gun, but this TV here is broken so I can't watch it. My view is blocked off the, the big TV at the front and I think I'm going to try this because I'm hungry guys, um, maybe it'll be okay, I don't like the taste of canned tuna but it's tuna sisig, maybe it's got a lot of seasoning or something like that that's going to disguise the, the taste of canned tuna, let's give it a go. I was right, the sisig seasoning disguises the taste, so that's good. Oh, I thought we were joining this highway right here but it looks like we're actually going through more of Manila's roads. Guys, we are joining the highway, I think. It's just in the opposite direction. Finally, leaving this city, it's heat and it's traffic problems for the cold, quieter place up north, Baguio. My tuna pie wasn't too bad. And I did bring some of my own snacks for this journey. Some sweet treats right here. And 
after five hours of travel time, we're here guys in Baguio, Philippines' coldest city. Does it feel cold? No, it doesn't feel cold at all. Feels like like 23 degrees C or something like that. So this bus, what did I think of it? Well, it wasn't that fancy for what they call a first class bus. You know, I've been on like the executive trains in Indonesia and such like, but it's all very fancy. Um, yeah, this, it's just basically a comfy seat that reclines and that's it. You know, there's no like cup holder, there's no like power sockets, there's no tray table for your laptop, there's nothing. Oh, that's loud. There's nothing really fancy about it, but definitely worth the money for the space. Like I didn't have to sit next to somebody for five hours. The seat was comfortable. That's worth it for me for 20 bucks, guys. That's worth it. Now, oh, that's my one right there. Okay, fantastic. That's my one, bro. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so I believe Grab works here, the Grab app. So I'll find the exit and try and hail myself a Grab to my hotel. I think that's the normal bus there. Hi. That's the normal bus, two by two seating. My one was the two by one, the extra space. Definitely worth it, guys. Exit this way, surely I can get a grab from here. In fact, across the road is a Jolly Bee, so I'm gonna go for that. I think I deserve a double yum burger after that long travel time. And there's also a taxi stand right here as well. This is an actual taxi stand, but I'm definitely going to get the grab. I just trust it. I just trust it more than these white meter taxis. I don't know if they use the meter or, or not. I don't know if it's like other countries where they call them meter taxis, but you have to bargain with them. Haven't taken them even once, guys. I've just been relying on grab the whole time. And here we are at Jollibee, where I can get a chicken joy or a yum burger. I'm feeling like a yum burger, guys. I haven't even checked into my hotel and uh, yeah. Good morning, sir. Hi, how are you? Good how many staff they've got? Oh, that's a chicken joy, yeah? Oh, good. Yeah, so I see the yum burgers there, but I don't see the double yum burger like I had in Dubai. Hi. Do you have double yum burger? I only see single. You have double yum burger. Yeah, like a Big Mac, you know, they have two patties. Yeah, with, uh, you can have an extra patty. Oh, so I order yum burger and then say extra patty? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, I will do that. Yum burger and extra patty, please. dining in, take sir. Uh, I will dine in and Coke Zero, please. With fries or without fries, sir? Uh, with fries, please, regular. 132, okay. So that's about two dollars fifty for double yum burger meal. It's, it's, it's really good compared to like you think uh, in the UK if you order a Big Mac meal or something like that, it's going to be more than double that price. So it's good value for sure. You have a lot of staff. Yeah. Yes. How many? How many people? Uh, almost sixty. Sixty. Yeah. Oh wow. Because it's right next to the bus terminal, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why it's popular. Yeah, I just come from Manila just now. We are the yeah. number one store in the Philippines. Ah, yeah, yes. good. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, blogger. Yeah, blogger. Subscribe, subscribe. Dale, Dale Philip, Dale Philip. Dale Philip? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're getting subscriber from the Jolly Bee staff. <laughs> Okay, 60 people subscribe, okay. I think I'd, I'm getting one at least, but they got 60 staff. Hey, I'm gonna try. Oh, you actually get, uh, not the plastic, you actually get like a um, proper cup. So they say uh, reuse, reuse. Ah, you wash and reuse. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Dale Phillips? Dale Phillips. Dale, D-A-L-E. D-A-L-E. Uh, D-A-L-E. Okay, that's mine. Thank you. Okay, I'll put my suitcase. I'll put my suitcase down first. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, you brought it for me. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, that's nice. They actually brought it over for me. My 
Yum Burger. So when I was in Dubai, they had something called the Double Yum Burger. But the Dubai menu, I realized, was uh, slightly different to the Philippines menu. There were certain things they didn't have. And I guess people have bigger appetites in Dubai. That's why they had the Double Yum Burger to compete with the Big Mac and the Double Whopper. So I tried the Yum Burger in Dubai and uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was uh, at least on par with a Big Mac. Now let's check this out, guys. Let's check this out right here. So it's just the two patties together inside the bun. There's no extra layer of bread like you get with a Big Mac. And it seems to be some kind of cheesy sauce. I don't remember this from the Yum Burger that I had in Dubai. It's some kind of, let me taste it. Oh, spicy, it's a spicy mayonnaise, that's what it is. Yeah, it's not cheese, it's like a spicy mayonnaise. I think they do have a cheese one there. I should have asked for that, they have a cheese yum burger. I should have asked for the cheese as well. But uh, it's spicy guys, a wee bit spicy, not too spicy. Spicy mayonnaise. Right, let's, um, let's get it in all golf, shall we? Oh. Oh guys, so soft. The bun is super soft and the patty as well, so moist. Very peppery. The patties are very peppery and then uh, they're a bit thin, just like a Big Mac as well. That's why you need two of them guys, you need two definitely. Two is the number. In fact, next time it might be three guys, three. When your man's feeling hungry after going for adventures here in Baguio, we'll get three patties in this thing. Yeah, this is nice. Mm. It's so soft, so easy to eat. And the fries, guys, the fries. These jolly fries right here. They just look like McDonald's. McDonald's style fries. And just taste like regular fries, guys. This yum burger is where it's at, though. And like I said, definitely very different to what I ate in Dubai at Jollibee. If you've had Jollibee in Dubai and think you've had Jollibee, you ain't had Jollibee. I thought I had Jollibee when I went to Jollibee in Dubai, but it ain't Jollibee. It's just like the Dubai version. It tasted like a Big Mac, you know, the, the patty. This patty is like seasoned totally differently. It's, it's just a very peppery, very peppery taste. It's got more taste to it than the one in Dubai. It's very tasteful, tasty, yummy, yum burger. And the spicy mayonnaise is on point as well. Just a wee bit spicy, not too spicy so that you're feeling like you're eating spicy food, just enough to give it a wee kick. Take a wee bite. Mm. Yum yum. Yum yum. The fries could do with more salt to be honest. I don't even think they're salty. There's like almost no taste to the fries. You just need uh, a bit of salt to give you some catsup, whatever catsup is. It might be, uh, maybe that's Filipino for ketchup, but uh, it's all about that burger guys. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. Just picture. Okay. Oh, you want a picture? Yeah. Okay. I'm your biggest fan. You have really? the most amazing travel there. Hi, Jem. Hi. How are you? Yeah, can you take a picture with me? Yeah, okay, Thank sure. So no, no, uh, the three of us. Oh, the three of us, <laughs> okay. Selfie style. One, two, one, one. I forgot that thing. Sorry. One, two, three. Thank you. Okay, no problem. You, the yum burger was yummy. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no worries. Okay, it was yummy, guys. Now I'm feeling good. I've had a long five hour journey on a bus, but thanks to the Jolly Bee and his yum burger, I'm feeling good. Now, where am I gonna put my pickup point for my grab? Uh, where's gonna be easy? I guess that taxi stand down there. It's kind of like rubbing it in the face of the taxi drivers though. If I get picked up by a grab car right next to them when they're waiting for our customers. But I think it's going to be the easiest, uh, the easiest spot for me to get my grab. Okay, well scrap that idea. Sorry, nearby drivers are busy and you can only get a grab taxi. You can't get grab car. So you have to take the taxi anyway. But at least I know now it's supposed to be 111 to 100 and 
33 pesos, so I might as well just uh, grab that taxi that's standing right there. If our driver did accept off grab, it would be one of these guys anyway. Hi, bro. I'm going to Orchard Hotel in Lagarda Road. Lagarda. Okay. Man, they don't even help you with the luggage. Okay. How are you, bro? Good. Okay, here we are at the Orchard Hotel. Uh, 74 pesos. Thank you. Okay, that was good. Only 74 pesos cheaper than Grab. So I'll probably just take these white taxis everywhere. I see them everywhere in Baguio. So, uh, yeah, he didn't try to rip me off or anything like in other countries if you get in the regular taxis, the regular quote unquote meter taxis. Here they actually just turn on the meter, use it, and it's a cheap price. So that's good. I'm feeling good about this place. I'm feeling good about this city. Now, this hotel across the road, the Iron Hotel, that used to be the Holiday Inn, apparently, and it's rebranded. That was my second choice of hotel if it wasn't for for this one, but uh, this is the one I'm staying at. The Orchard Hotel, okay. Our breakfast will be served at the sixth floor tomorrow. Yeah. 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. 7 till 10, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And then you have one, two, three, four, oh, five, five, six. Good for six days. So I, have so I have 12? Yes, sir. Two a day, okay. <laughs> yes, sir. You also have here your spa voucher if you want to try your spa. It could be room service or um, on our spa. Oh, you can get massage in your room? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, it's good. Okay, that's good, guys. If I can get my ass awake at 7 a.m. I can have breakfast and then have breakfast again at like 9.30 a.m. I struggled just to wake up once for breakfast, never mind uh, having two breakfasts, guys. But uh, the possibility is there. The possibility is there if I was looking for value. Uh, out of this 5,500 pesos per night that I'm paying for the room, so that is 100 US dollars. Almost exactly 100 US dollars I'm paying for this room. It is, uh, it's not their cheapest room. I think their cheapest room starts from like like $60 or something like that. So it's like their premier room. So let's see what it's like. Oh no, everyone wants to use the elevator. Yeah, looks like this one. Hopefully I can get in. Good. Okay. So it looks like they've only got two elevators for this whole hotel. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem. I think we need to use our uh -huh. car to see if you can push it. No, you need, you need to use your one. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Scan it here. Quick, quick, quick. Ah, uh, too late. Too late. Huh? Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I'll let you out. Okay, see you. Okay. Almost uh I'm going up. Oh, you're going up. Good. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. You're staying here? Yes. Ah, okay. Where are you going up to? Is there like a rooftop or something? Yeah, we're going to check it out. Oh, it's like a rooftop bar or something like that? We're not sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll check it out later. So. Sorry. Okay, see you guys. You. Okay, 402, I'm in. Let's see. Oh. We can see what some of the rooms look like. I don't know if this is going to be like mine. They've left the they've left the doors open to some of the rooms. Maybe just to let some air in or whatever. But, uh, yeah, this looks like what a standard room is. Hopefully... I look, it, it looks very standard, so hopefully mine is better than that. Uh, 402. Let's see. I think this is it. Okay, good. So I only have one neighbour. I like that. I always like that in a hotel. Yeah, that's that's a wall there. So I only have like one neighbour on that side. I always like that. Reduces the potential noise by 50% from your neighbours. And yeah, it's just a standard room. Man. Is this what I paid a hundred bucks a night for? It's just a, a very ordinary, yeah, it's just a very ordinary room. And it's one of my pet peeves, guys. It's one of my pet peeves. So I paid for a king size bed, a double bed, and look what they've given me. Two single beds joined together like this. That's, they're not even made an effort. They haven't even given like a, a, a double sheet. What's that noise? 
Oh, it's the door. Okay, so you get an alarm if you don't close the door properly. Yeah, it's my pet peeve. I hate this. Every time I get this, it's, it annoys me because I like to roll around when I'm trying to get to sleep. And uh, I end up in the middle of the bed and then it's got this uncomfortable bit here and it's just uncomfortable. So you might as well just have like a single bed like this. You might as well just be in a room with twin beds because all I've done is stuck two twin beds together, you know. Uh, anyway, here's your man complaining already. He's been in the room for like five seconds and already found something to complain about. Oh, you complain about everything. You complain about everything. I'm paying a hundred bucks a night, guys, in the Philippines. Wait, anything over a hundred bucks a night for a hotel, you get to complain about anything you want, really. Everything should be perfect. Now look at this for your uh, for your chair. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable. That's a very unusual bucket style style chair. I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable sitting here or not. Oh no, this wire is like sticking at my back here. So they've got a cushion for your back, but it only goes to the bottom of your back. And this, I just felt it straight away. That's pressing into my back. So I don't know. At least my legs fit under. At least my legs fit under the table, and this, they've given you... Yeah, this is... Oh, look at this, it's not even... It's not even, uh... It's not even flush. It's on like an angle. It's all like messed up. I think it's actually... This is like damaged or something. Uh, it's not even like... Level. I don't know. I guess I'll, I can just probably like sit here and put my laptop there, and that can be my... My working desk. At least it's, it's proper flat. Not any annoyances. A nice big TV, that's nice, isn't it? The room is nice and clean. It smells nice. Everything uh, looks like it's in good condition. Look at the floor. It's not worn out or anything. So this is probably refurbished recently. And it looks like a little balcony out here, guys. Let's see. Yes. Oh, check out the view. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? See, you're getting some value out your 100 bucks a night here with this view. Check this out. Very nice guys, very nice. And the air, the air in this city is so fresh. Right now it's about, maybe it's about 5 p.m. right now and it feels like maybe 18, 19 degrees when the sun's going down in Scotland on a, on a hot summer night, not hot, a warm, a warm summer day is just ending in Scotland and it's just, it just feels fresh. You feel good, that's what it feels like here. Totally different from Manila, you know? I'm not even, not even close to sweating when I've been outside here. So, yeah, this is good. I'm gonna enjoy the city, guys, just walking around and stuff. I did ask the lady checking me in if they rent motorbikes, and she said no, and she doesn't know anywhere that rents motorbikes. And then I asked a guide, a guide who was guiding uh, an old German couple, and he said in the city, he, he doesn't think so. There's no like companies or anything like that. But uh, maybe if I like look on a Facebook group or something like that, I can, I can find some like individual person who will rent me their bike. Anyway, guys, that's a, that's a problem for tomorrow. I'm gonna try and sort that out tomorrow. This balcony, uh, where's the chair? If you've got a nice balcony like this, you want to be, uh, you want like a wee table and a chair so you can have your Coke Zero and a wee snack and just sit there and enjoy the, the fresh air because yeah, I will be spending time on this balcony, guys. I will be spending time on this balcony. It's lovely, but I, 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 can't, I can't be standing up. I guess I would just have to drag that chair out and that table, that, I would just drag that out, I guess, and pull it back in when it's raining like that. I guess that's not too bad. We can, we can, we can do that. We can do that, guys, okay, so. You know, some things to complain about, some things to be happy about, guys. A nice balcony, a nice view, a nice clean room. A very small air conditioning unit that you probably won't even need. I imagine you could just get away with the whole trip not using the AC. Um, push to open. That's strange. Push to open, really? You don't pull this? Oh, okay, we've got the Holy Bible right here, standard in any hotel room in the Philippines. Okay, um, yeah, I think it's one of these things that only make up the bed if you throw that on the bed, otherwise they don't make up the bed. And do they actually give you... They took a security deposit off me when I was checking in, 3,000 pesos, so I'm going to assume they actually have stuff. No, 
Why did they take a security deposit off me if they don't have stuff in the minibar? That's very strange. I'm gonna to have to do the minibar hunt, actually. Guys, uh, I'm gonna do that right now, actually. Oh, we've got a nice big safe, that's good. You can fit your laptop in that one. So, guys, all the time in hotels, even like chain hotels for some reason, they give you laptops where, um, they give you safes where you can't fit your laptop. Which is uh, annoying, isn't it? You want to know that your laptop's nice and, nice and safe, but that is a, uh, that's a nice big one. Right there, a nice big one. That's what she said. Now, the bathroom, the all important bathroom. It's looking good, got the nice uh, faux bricks on the wall here. Nice big sink, everything nice and clean. And a big overhead rain shower. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Good, okay, I'm happy. I'm happy with the bathroom. Okay, I think this is worth a hundred bucks a night. Apart from the beds. Like they need, to, if they have, why can't they just have some rooms that have some proper king size beds? Like every other hotel, or well, almost every other hotel, apart from the hotels that also do this nonsense. Because that is nonsense, guys. If you put, you should be getting like a, a refund or like a, a rebate or something like that. When you book, you pay for like a king size room, but you get that, because that is, that is like fake. That is a, a knockoff king size bed right there. Just pushing two normal beds together. Okay guys, I'm gonna go for the minibar hunt. It's gonna be a good excuse to get out and have a wee walk around down there. Uh, maybe see if I can find a 7-Eleven or something like that. And I'm actually two floors higher now, guys. I just came up to the roof to see what was here. It's just the restaurant, the buffet restaurant behind me. That 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. restaurant. I think they're closing up. It's like half past five right now, guys. So there's only like um, 30 minutes of daylight left. Oh, I see they're ordering from a menu so you can get a la carte food here as well when the buffet's not on. That would be the buffet there. Kind of, kind of, kind of small buffet. Um, yeah, there's about half an hour of daylight left. So I'm gonna head out. We drove past the kind of park area that's very close to the hotel and there's a lot of goings on there. People just hanging out and stuff, so. Uh, I'll enjoy the last half an hour of daylight here in Baguio by, I don't know, going for a walk in the park or something like that. Hey guys. Hello. Here we go. I've got guys selling all sorts of stuff like special strawberry ice cream. Special strawberry ice cream? Yes. What's special about it? What makes strawberry. it special? Strawberry. Yeah, but what makes it special? It's strawberry ice cream, but what makes it special? <laughs> Why is it special? Very tasty. Special. Okay, how much is one cone? 30, 50. Oh, 30, 50. Okay, I'll take 30, please. Okay, that's good. Only 30. That is like... 55 cents or something like that. Not too bad for a special. Let's see. Oh, you have two. You have blueberry. Uh, that's blueberry, right? Strawberry. And strawberry. Yeah, I want the special one. This is the special one, apparently. The blueberry isn't even advertised. That's good, 30 pesos. That's a good deal. Okay, this for you, this for me. Okay, thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I got uh, 30 pesos, a 50 cent ice cream cone to enjoy as I walk around this park. Everything's special here. Look, they've got special ice scramble. Hi. We've got special ice scramble. I wonder what that is. It's like Hello Hello. Ah, it's like Hello Hello. Ah, okay, maybe I'll try later. I'm gonna eat my strawberry, special strawberry. More ice cream. Ah, oh, strawberry and ubi. Maybe that's what the blue thing was back there. Maybe it's ubi. Ubi is like a, something like a sweet potato that's very popular in the Philippines. They use it in a lot of food, especially desserts. And over here's like a wee racetrack for the kids. Look at this. But all sorts of different vehicles. There's ones for big kids as well. Look at these two big kids playing on their, their, their pedal things. Little uh, little pedal quads. That's what they are, pedal quads. Hi. Okay, that's good. So look, look, look at the wee ones and big ones. That looks like fun, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, I don't have any free hands right now, guys. Might try that, might try that later. Okay, let's go for a wander around this park. Guys, and this park is the center. 
Basically, it's the center of Baguio. If you look at Baguio on a map, hi, you'll see, hi, you'll see this green area, like a big green triangle with a lake. There's the lake right there. Let's go and check that out. With a lake in the middle. And it's basically the center of Baguio. Everything seems to be built up around that. So that's where I am right now. And look, everybody hanging out, enjoying themselves. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. All the friendly people here. Look, some people in t-shirts, some in jackets. For me, it's t-shirt weather. For some of the locals, it's more like a uh, jacket weather. Hi, how are you? Massage. Massage. Oh, no, I'm just enjoying ice cream oh, right okay. now. Oh, okay, good. Oh, they're selfie. giving, giving yeah, food. Selfie with you. Selfie? Oh, okay. You, you're getting a massage, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. Okay, good. Enjoy your massage. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, that's good. How about you? What's that? Uh, not right now. I'm just walking and eating uh, ice cream. Okay. Yeah, enjoying, enjoying. Enjoy your ice cream. Thank you so much. Okay, that's good. You can come down here. Play in a pedal quad, go for a little uh, float around on a boat in the lake right here. Let's see if I can step over. Yeah, there's all sorts of different boats. You've got the swans that you pedal, the pedalos, and you've got other ones where you can paddle, or maybe somebody paddles for you. But uh, yeah, there's more than 100 people enjoying boat rides right now in the park. Very nice, isn't it? Oh, I haven't even tasted the, the strawberry. Let's get it eaten so that I've got a free hand again. <laughs> ah, yeah, it tastes very artificial. I don't think there's real strawberries in this. Yeah, there's little like um, strawberry jellies. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a uh, strawberry milk. If you get like a strawberry milk out of 7 Eleven or something like that, that's what it tastes like. But there's wee chunks of. Uh, Strawberry jelly. Okay, this is lovely. Walking, this is the first time I've been walking around outdoors in the Philippines and I feel fresh, guys. I feel fresh and I feel good. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this city. Baguio. Mm. This looks like the selfie spot right here. Everybody's getting selfie. Oh, there's a guy, a guy actually fishing here. So they must have fish. They must have fish inside this lake. Oh. Very nice. I just heard vlogger. Yeah, me. I'm vlogger. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, vlogger. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's why I hold the camera. Scotland. Mm. More, more cold than Baguio. Scotland, more cold than Baguio. Mm. A picture with your son. Son? Yes. No, together with you. Ah, hey, your son? Yes. Ah, okay. All right, beans. You like basketball? No, I, no. I, I, yes, a little bit. A little bit. One, two, and, and use your camera, not this one. Ah, video camera, video. Vlogger, vlogger camera. I watch your videos, actually. You watch my videos? Oh, on Facebook or YouTube? Facebook. Ah, oh, okay, good. I'm following you also. Are you a basketball fan? Yes. A little bit of basketball fan. Yes. Why not football? Why not football? I used to. You used to really? Oh, yes. I met the first the first Filipino who likes football. Every other Filipino I asked, they don't like football. So it's good. First first Filipino who likes football. It's good. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat this quick because it's starting to melt. Even in this cold weather, it's starting to melt. So that's the different options there on the boats 200 250 or 300 and you can pay an extra 50 and get something to roll for you that seems like a bargain i i want the one just for one person just for one which person? one the um, swan or the pontoon the or the pontoon is better sir because yeah. it's lighter yeah. that's 250 pesos. okay i will take that and easy for me to pedal by yes, one person yes yeah. okay i don't that's need the one don't one. need the guide or rower do you have change for 1,000? No, sir. Do no. you have exact amount? No, let me see. I might have to give you all my change. <laughs> oh, do you have 50? 50. So, yes. We yeah, okay, good. Your okay, thank you. There's your change time. We wait for your boat. I wait for my boat here. Okay. Just give them the ticket. I give the ticket. Okay, yes. and I will get the pontoon is what I'm getting, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 250 for the pontoon. Oh, it's me. This is the pontoon. Okay, that's my ticket. So I just jumped. Which side is better? 
Whatever you want. Whatever is okay. Yes. I feel like I'm gonna fall. Let's see. Are you a blogger? Yeah, I'm blogger on YouTube and okay. Facebook. Okay. okay. Shout out. You watch my video? Okay, thank you, bro. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, yeah, give me a push. It will be right. useful. That one is for your direction. This one. Which for direction? This one. In All the, this? Uh, yes, left and right only. Okay, I'll try and figure it out. Okay, right, there's only two options, left and right. So, okay, let's go, guys. Start pedaling. No problem for your man with two strong legs. Got to avoid the traffic. Now, which way? Oh. Uh oh, I'm gonna crash. Can I reverse? I'm trying to reverse. I think I can, yeah, I'm reversing. That's good. I managed to brake. I managed, so I worked out one thing. If you pedal backwards, you can brake. So that's good. I'm trying to avoid the ladies here. Otherwise, it's gonna be like dodgems. It's gonna be like dodgems. Yeah, I don't wanna. It would be worse than dodgems because if they end up in the lake, that's a bad uh, scenario. Right, so I think I figured this out. I think when I. I think when I moved it, when I when I pulled it clockwise, the boat goes clockwise. So look, if I push this clockwise, the boat is going clockwise. And if I go anti-clockwise, the boat is also. Oh my God! You need. To, oh no! It's it's going clockwise regardless. Okay, reverse, 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 reverse. Reversing works though, and that's uh, that's the motors there. Oh, right, here we go. Ah, I think there's actually like two modes. There's like here, which is straight, I think. So that's me going straight. And then if I do that, I'm going to the left. And then that's straight again, I think. And then if I do it this way, I'm going to the right. But it doesn't go all the way. I don't get it. Yeah, I, I don't really get it. I think roughly clockwise is clockwise and anti-clockwise is anti-clockwise. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out and hopefully not bump into somebody. And that looks like a massive mall right there. SM City Baguio. Looks like a massive mall. Hi guys! How was your boat ride? Good? Oh, very relaxing. You're going slow for them. It's good because they got baby and little kid. He's going slow. Dale. Dale. Yes. Thank you. I'm still trying to figure out how to steer this thing. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. I'll just. Uh, I'll just go slow. Otherwise, we'll have a disaster, guys. I'm gonna try and do a loop of the whole thing. And I don't even know what I paid for. I just gave them. Uh, 250 pesos? I don't know if that was uh, 250 pesos for half an hour or what, or it's just until my legs get tired. Maybe that's what it is. I can't imagine people want to stay out here all day when you have to uh, like use your manual leg power. No problem for your man though. Okay, I'm gonna go to there and do a full loop down to this, uh, this port here. This way. It's taking me this way. Down there, that's not moving. That's not moving down there, these rudders. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I was concentrating on the rudders. Look, faster, faster, faster. Pedal, 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 pedal. Oh, oh. <laughs> avoided them, hi. <laughs> okay, I avoided them just. I had to speed up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna go down there with the Loch Ness Monster, it looks like. I'm in Scotland, that looks like the Loch Ness Monster down there. Let's go and uh, investigate that. Hey, I'm getting my photograph taken by the seahorse. Hi. Well, yeah, I thought I'd figure this out, but guys, sometimes you pull this anti-clockwise and it goes clockwise. I don't really get it. Basically what I'm doing is, if I'm going in the opposite direction, I just push it the opposite way and eventually... Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Traffic. Traffic problem. Hi. Another seahorse. Okay, let's do the loop. Bro, this Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster, yes. I, said. I think it is Loch Ness Monster. Where? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna start my loop. I'm gonna start from here and go all the way uh, back to the starting point. Let's 
see if we can overtake some people. Hi guys, how are you? You watch my videos? Okay, I'm overtaking you, you're too slow. You're too slow. <laughs> Let's overtake people guys. Have I got enough room to squeeze through here? Let's see if we can do it. Oh no, I'm too close to the... I'm too close to this actually. There's like only like a few inches of depth at that bit there. And now it's a problem. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. Okay, I'm stationary. People can work their way around me. This guy's a professional. I think I can go over to this bit here. It's like uh, too shallow. Okay. Traffic jam. Traffic. Traffic jam. Okay, you don't understand. Yeah. The lady got it. The lady got the joke though. That's good. At least one person laughed. Okay, and now we're clear. Let's go for it. Traffic problem again. Hi guys. Hi. Try not to crash into you. I've got one on each side and one ahead of me. I'm gonna overtake this one. I'll go around them actually. I'll go around this summer love. They all, every boat has a name. There was one called Karen back there. I bet she would. Hi. Okay, wants a photo. Okay. Yeah, I bet the Karen one would complain if you uh, if you bumped into her. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Okay, I'm facing the wrong direction now. Let's. I'm half the way. I'm half the way uh, through my loop. Yeah, I think when I take this boat back, I'm going to get some of that um, halo halo type stuff in the mood for sweet food after this uh, burning some energy here. With the pedaling. Hi guys. <laughs> oh, good. Hi. Ah, there's the Karen one right there. Don't bum into her. I'm far enough away, guys. No danger of Karen complaining. Now to take this pedalo back. Okay, good. That was good parking. Yes, good sir. parking, yeah? Good parking. Oh, okay, thank you. My first time as well. Must be naturally talented. Be careful. At this. Yeah. My careful. It's very high. Oh, okay. Thank you, bro. <laughs> He's laughing at the way I get out of it. Hey, it works. It works, man. Okay. Thank you. Successful. Didn't drown, didn't crash into anybody, did the full loop, enjoyed it. A little bit sweaty. There was me saying that I wasn't sweating in Baguio at all, but now uh, I put in some effort doing uh, doing that one man. Uh, it's supposed to be for two people, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hey, man. how are you? Uh, can I take a picture with yeah, you? Yeah, sure. You from Baguio or uh, tourist? A tourist from Pangasinan. Oh, okay, okay good. Yes. Are you a vlogger? Sir? Yes. Yeah, Dale Philip. Thank you, okay, Thank you. good. Thank you. Ah, uh, no, I don't need massage. Oh, I'm feeling like maybe I will later though. I did a lot of work on the boat. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I saw you there. I saw you there. Oh, you saw me doing the yes, boat. Yes, uh, yes. Okay. What have you been doing in Baguio? Uh, just uh, relaxing for then. Yeah, enjoying yes, the cool yeah. air, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's nice fresh air. Breathe it in. So good, right? Compared to places I just come from Manila, it was so hot. Yes, sir. Yes. And this uh, is so good. Yeah. And uh, what is good thing to do for activities uh, in Baguio? Uh, I don't know. You sir. don't know. Yes, you just sir. come here. Yes, sir. I just come here. Ah, same as me. You just yes, got sir. here. Okay. I'm gonna gonna have a look around. Nice Thank to you, see sir. you, brother. Thank see you. See you. Okay, so, that's good. Yeah. Now I know why uh, there's so many massage ladies around is because you give your legs a good workout, don't you? When you're doing the little pedal, and then you need a massage. Yeah. I'm actually thinking that would be a good idea. But they got massages until midnight in a hotel, and you can actually have it in your room as well, and all the uh, the comfort and peace. So that's good. Hey guys, how are you? Oh yeah, good. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, this is more boats. Oh, this is seahorse one. Yeah, the seahorse. I just did the uh, pontoon one. Okay, you guys are skateboarders. Uh, no. No, I was just guessing. I was guessing. I'm a biker. You're a biker or biker? Oh. Okay, nice to see you guys. We're gonna have a walk around. See you. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, okay, cool. I want to watch your vlog. Ah, okay, you from Baguio? 
Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tourist. Yeah, tourist also. Ah, tourist okay. Also. From where? Manila. From Milopos. Oh, okay. Everyone, everyone's coming to Baguio. Thank okay, you. good. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is like a, a tourist place for like domestic tourists. There's not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's not so many uh, foreign tourists. If you look around, everybody looks Filipino, but... Okay. Okay, nice one. Okay, yeah, everybody looks Filipino. So you, you imagine you're just amongst locals, but then uh, you ask people if they're from Baguio, nobody's from here. It's like uh, domestic tourists are, are flocking here, it seems. It seems these are all, you know, coming from probably places in the Philippines where it's too hot, and they're coming here to enjoy the... For them, for them, cold weather. For me, this is this is not cold. This is like, like I said, like a, a summer evening in Scotland or something like that. I would, I would definitely wouldn't consider this cold, guys. I consider it nice, though. I consider it nice. And unbelievably, guys, in this part of the park, I found guys playing football. Filipinos do like football after all. You guys like football? Oh, if I seen that coming, I would have passed it back. Who likes as cows? As cows? You like as cows? Okay, good. <laughs> That's good. So Filipinos, hi. How are you, bro? Hi, see you. I saw your channel. Okay, good. You play, yeah. You play, you play football. I never see before in the Philippines anybody play football. Every day, play. Yeah. Are you from Pakistan? No, I'm from India. From India. Ah, okay, okay. But these, these guys are Pinoy, right? Yeah. Okay. Arsenal fan, okay, that's good. Hi, how are you? What is your team? Your team? I think we Oh, okay, this for here, yeah, Philippines. Oh, okay, where, where, where can I buy this t shirt? Where? It's sold out. Oh, it's sold out. Oh, okay, I'm trying to buy a football top. I can't find one. Are you gonna record this first? Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot your channel name. Dale, Dale, Dale. Dale, yeah. Okay, okay. D A H D A D A L E. Oh, okay. D -A -L -E. Yeah, Dale, Dale. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna... I need to buy like no, this. Don't cut my foot. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I need to buy. Where, where can I buy? Where can I buy? Oh, he's got one as well. That's a different club. I sold out. Sold out. Unbelievably. It's the first time I've seen it. I'll give you mine. No, too small, too small. Look at the size of you. Look at the size of you. <laughs> he just violated. That one there was a violation. That was a violation. That one there was a violation. It's normal. In Philippines, we're abnormal. You're abnormal. Ah, okay. Bro, there's no, there's no shop. There's no shop for a football shirt, no. No shop. Yeah, there's no shop. No shop. Uh, this is your we team. Clubs. Oh no. Oh, this is like uh, your academy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, okay sh show me that you're good then. I'm gonna not make him, guys. I'm gonna not make him. Whoa! Yeah! That's <laughs> a not make you. I not make you. I not make you. I not make them. I not make them. That's uh, two different countries of not make the local kids. I did it in Indonesia as well. Okay, guys. See you. See you. Have fun. That's good. Football and kids. Fantastic. I've uh, my uh, impressions of the Philippines have just improved by like a hundred percent after seeing kids play football. That is what you want to be doing with your free time when you're a kid is playing football. Check that out. That mall right there looks absolutely massive, doesn't it? And it has a nice view as well. You want a shout out? Yes. Shout out to who? What's your name? Uh, Dave. Dave. Huh? What's your name? Dave. James? JM, it's my name. JM? Yes. Shout out to JM! Shout out to JM! JM, JM, JM! Okay, they want the shout out. Shout out to who? Shout out to who? I see your black. Oh, shout out to me! Yeah. Okay, shout out to Dale! Shout out to your man! <laughs> right here. Okay. Shout out to Jairus. Where are you taking the bikes? Is there a trail or something? Bro, uh, there's a race. Or just around the city? A race? Yes, around the city. You're having a race? Yes. But well, you're just chilling right now. You're not racing now. I see you there. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I that's good. I don't understand. I don't understand. You just said something in Filipino and Tagalog. Yeah. Who? Shout out to who? I don't understand. Shout out to Angelo. 
Shut up to Angelo. You Angelo. Yes. Okay, shut up to Angelo. Shut up to Angelo right here. Okay, see you guys. Enjoy your biking. Okay. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy uh, Halo Halo or whatever that thing was. It wasn't a Halo Halo. It was something else. But uh, was something similar to Halo Halo. Right? Can you just uh, walk out in front of the traffic here and they stop? Yeah, they do. That's good. They actually stop at pedestrian crossings. That's good. Okay. Let's go and find ourselves a wee treat. This is the lady right here. The ice scramble, special ice scramble. How much is one? 50, sir. 50, okay, I'll have one, please. One. Let's see what we get inside the ice scramble. Uh, what is this? Beans? No, uh, sago. Baba. Sago. Boba. Sago, yeah, it's like uh, tapioca pearls and some chocolate sauce. And. Oh, what is this? This one, ice and coconut? Or? No, uh, strawberry. Strawberry, ah, okay, so we got ice and strawberry flavor. This one is milk. Ah, some milk powder goes on top, okay. And that is the scramble. And what about this? What is this one? Sprinkles. You sprinkles, like yeah, one? it will make it look nice. Okay, so I get some sprinkles on top. Very good. For 50 pesos, which is about 90 cents. Pretty decent. Okay, let's see, is this a 50? Okay, it's 50. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, lovely. Look at that. Very pretty, isn't it? That's going to be nice and refreshing after that pedal ride. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is something you could just walk and eat quite comfortably, but not if um, not if you're vlogging. Or maybe I could. Maybe I can just hold the cup and the camera. This could be a disaster. Maybe I can hold the cup and the camera in the same hand. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Okay, figured it out. Figured it out, guys. Let's uh, we taste. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like a artificial strawberry drink and um, milk powder and chocolate sauce because that's what it is. And it tastes like sprinkles. I think I've got to mix this up a bit. The milk powder's all dry. It's not very good like this. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to scramble that. It's called an ice scramble. Surely you're supposed to scramble that up, get the milk powder into the liquid and get the chocolate sauce from the bottom, the Boba Pearls, all on one spoonful. Mmm. Much better. And how does it taste? Well, all the ingredients you put in, it tastes like a combination of all those flavours together, guys. That's what it tastes like. Yum, yum. And that was a nice, refreshing way to end the day, guys. Now, I'm going to nip into the 7-Eleven right here and sort out the minibar situation. I'm going to take that back to my hotel, maybe get some room service, and then maybe get a massage room service to end the day. That's not going to be in the vlog though, the vlog ends here and I will see you guys on the next adventure.